Hey, and welcome back to the next episode of the Right Hand Drive Guys podcast. The podcast for guys who like right hand drives. We're your hosts. I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. Yo, yo. And this is episode 101. Facebook Marketplace. (laughs) Wait. Not what? marketplace. Not marketplace. Nothing to do with Facebook. <laughs> We're actually switching it up this month. You know, like Facebook marketplace is cool, and like you know, we'll get back to that. But we were like, dude, like we should be showing people some Japanese cars for sale that they could have imported in the prices that they are yeah. currently at auction. You know, that's it. You know, everybody can look on Facebook marketplace. I mean, everybody can look at like. Go net as well. Yeah. But we kind of did a little bit of the hard part for you. There is a lot of listings on there. You know, there's some stuff you can mess with on the filters to kind of get what you want. Yeah, but it's pretty cool. Um very expensive. Yes. Very what? Expansive. Span- I was yeah. like expensive. No. <laughs> yeah, uh, dude, they got me for 20 bucks damn. already. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, pretty much we'll go- do the same format as the Facebook Marketplace episodes, except we will be showing you. Uh, live listings on GoNet. So what do you say we get started? Yeah, so one question real quick. Okay. So you find a car on GoNet. Yep. How do you go about getting it? Well, you could listen to our How to Import an R34 GTT episode, and yeah. that that applies to just about everything except for specialty vehicles. Yeah. And that would kind of give you you know a little bit of insight you could also listen to our episode with trevor he'd be a great guy like go net's great for a guy like trevor you just send him the listing he'll tell you what's up um but yeah that's pretty much how you could do it heck yeah all right cool so i'm really excited i'm gonna start (laughs) okay so uh you normally will do regional um in japan that didn't make sense for us so what we ended up doing was doing uh alphabetically I have A through M, Mm -hmm. and Aaron has N through Z. Yes. Yes. So, real quick, what's my first car? What's, like, what's my first car that I'm going to talk about? Like, what's the first one I went and looked up? You know what I mean? Yeah. Probably, let's see. Don't peek. Come on. Mm, Mitsubishi? Now, I know you would think that because of our previous conversations. Yes, the evolution, right? But, no? but ignore that and now take the real guess. <sighs> it's tough. All right, let's Come on. see. Come on. Um, on know. the wall behind me. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Honda, dude. Yeah. Type R. E- yes, absolutely. EK9? Yes, EK9 Type R. So... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know <laughs> sorry, why I, I don't know why that. that was so painful, but <laughs> we was. made it through it, and it's fine. My bad. Uh, so okay, so you know, got a soft spot for the EK nines. That is one of my next purchases. Very nostalgic for me because those were like my first right hand drive cars. Got me yeah. exposed to kind of the whole community. Got in some magazines. Got some notoriety. So I do have a soft spot there. So what I found was. Uh, A November of 97, white EK9, Civic Type R. So this is pre-facelift EK9. Mm. Um, It does say it has a little bit of repair. Uh, I didn't, uh, you know, on these, I didn't go super deep as far as, like, checking out the auction sheet. If you're interested in these cars, just go find them. But basically, it's got 136,000 kilometers. So, I mean, under 100,000 miles still. So that's pretty decent. Uh, again, some repair, and they're asking for, and th- of course, this is pre-shipping, pre, you know, pretty much pre-everything. Yeah, they're asking for eighteen thousand, and I feel like um, that's a decent price. Honestly, I've been keeping my eye on these on this website, and eighteen thousand is like right now in twenty twenty four. That's a deal, especially for under a hundred thousand miles. Yeah. Um and. So what we're going to do here is if you're interested in one of these cars, the way we'll do this is we're going to throw in the stock number, the last uh, four digits of the stock number, Mm -hmm. and that will help you locate this car on GoNet if you decide you want it. So this 97 CTR with 136,000 kilometers for 18 grand, stock number W001. So if you want it... Go type that into the to the search, and yeah. that'll bring up this car, and you can buy it. 
or have Trevor buy it or hit up Stacked, whatever you want to do. Nice. What do you got? <clears throat> well, uh, so since <laughs> I have in to the to the end, pretty much that's Nissan. Yeah, I know. For sure. Yeah, so it's, uh, I know it's Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, my first one is actually going to be the cheapest Skyline on GoNet right now. And that's no, sub model doesn't matter. Sub model doesn't matter. This okay. is just a skyline straight up. Got it. Barely a skyline, but hey, it's still a skyline. Uh, this is a '98 GTS Type XG, fifty two ninety four. Wow, that's USD. pretty cheap. Yeah, so yeah. that's like a project car. Yeah, or a for daily sure. Driver, and I guess. Yeah, I mean it's it's four lug. Yeah. Automatic, yeah, yeah. RB twenty E, wow. you know, the base the, of the base of yes, the base. Yes, yes, yeah. pretty much. I mean, but it is the latest model. It is a ninety eight, so it does have you know the different bumpers yeah. and little interior like differences. A series and, two, and, yeah, yeah, whatever. Series three, it would three. be three. Oh, it's a thirty three, right? Yes. So, um, like I said, though, fifty two hundred bucks USD. Yeah, not bad. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Um, you said the stock number. The last four digits. Last four is going to be W001. And what, what was wait, the last? Wait. So W001. So maybe it's the first four of the stock number we need to go on. Oh, okay. Sorry right, about that. that. The, so the mine was, what's the first four of yours? 0401. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So on the Civic Type R, it's 0705. Okay. We'll go by the first, first four. First four. Uh, Okay, that's cool. So that's that's what you got—the old base, yeah. base, base, base. I mean, like I said, it's is what it is, but it's the skyline. Yeah, oh. yeah. I mean, a skyline's a skyline if that's where you're headed, you know. Yeah. Um. So okay. So now you were right. My second one is a Mitsubishi there Lancer is. GSR Evo Seven. Now this we were talking about this the other day, like. This caught my eye, right? Like, mm-hmm. I've always liked the Evo 7s. I've had, you know, an Evo 8, a few Evo 9s. Like, I, I definitely have experience with them. And the Evo 7 was, like, post, obviously, Evo 5 slash 6 mm-hmm. uh, body style. And it was the beginning of, like, the CT body style. And that's, like, it's, it's like kind of a squared off Evo 8, you know, and you've right. seen it in Too Fast, Too Furious, or, yeah. yeah, Too Fast, Too Furious. Well, I was like, you know, I, I want to have an Evo, and I'm like, well, dude, I really just need to get the 7, you know. So I started looking at him, and I was, like, mind blown, and I show this guy, and he's, like, mind blown, <laughs> and so we're both mind blown. Yeah. And so this is a... um this is a 2001. It's a 12 of 2001, so still not legal here. You got, you know, a few more years of storage. Hmm. It's it does say it has a repair, which I think if they're being honest, a lot of these are going to. Yeah. And it has 137,000 kilometers. So again, under the 100,000 mile mark. Not bad. So, you know, me before looking at these, I would have mm-hmm. said that's like probably a $20,000 car all day, you know. Yeah. You know, low 20s, you know, especially based on what the eights go for and under 100,000 miles. Dude, you can't get Evos with under 100,000 miles, really. No, not. And if you do, they're very expensive. All right. Brace yourself, folks. This is $14,000. Whoa. It is $14,000. It's not messed up. It's a nice car. Like, it's a nice car. It's whatever blue this is. Manual? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they do have the um automatic evo sevens which is yeah. crazy yeah like, that is kind of weird yeah but those are even cheaper like nine thousand bucks dude Ugh. nine thousand bucks for an automatic evo that's yeah. like this might be one of the best deals yes, like for for sure a four for what you're turbo getting all-wheel drive like yeah come on i yeah. mean so yeah it, and this is uh zero four zero four stock number and seriously like these evo sevens I don't even want to say this because I'd like to buy a bunch and sell them over here. <laughs> but these Evo 7s are a steal right now. Yeah, and they seem to be. I didn't pick the cheapest one, period. I I picked kind of a middle of the rung. You can find some at 20. You can find some at 10. This was yeah. the 15. So, yeah, I mean, if you're looking, definitely go check those out. Decent deal. All right. Up for me, I got a Toyota Supra SZ. Oh, wow. 
SZ. I don't yeah. know nothing about those. No I know. Letters. I was about to say, I don't know too much about the super trim levels. Uh, this one is, it is a manual and it is, does have a 2JZ with turbo. So I don't know if it's been swapped right, or what, but it's definitely the manual turbo mm-hmm. that everyone would want. Uh, it's got a giant wing on it some oh yeah pretty yeah that's that like 2000s yeah it's definitely got the 2000s era vibe to it kind of beat a little higher on the kms it's got 178,000 kms i mean that's a lot of kms but like really dude in america you can't find stuff without miles really right. so like that's kind of average right you know uh so they're asking 38,300 i mean i feel that's... like for a a turbo, like, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's a decent deal. And this is from uh, the the car seller Apple. Like, oh, yeah. You've, if you've looked at any, or if you looked at stacked imports or any of those dudes, like, they always post ads from these people. Mm-hmm. Which makes you lead to believe that they're a little bit reputable, I'd yeah. imagine. Um, this one's stock number is 0507. And I believe when I looked this up, this was the cheapest manual turbo Supra as well. Wow. Don't remember exactly, but I believe that was one of the cheaper ones. But there's not even many out there. Yeah, so. no, no, they've been swallowed up. Yeah, hundred percent. So decent little buy. Um. So okay. So trending with the M's. I got a Mazda RX-7. Okay, and this is where things get weird because it's kind of like the Supra submodels. I don't know anything about these like submodels. So it's yeah. a Type RB S package. Hmm. Sounds cool. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not positive what that really means. Um, this is a white car. It's got you know a body kit on it. I mean, it looks real nice for sure. Yeah. Um, and so it has a hundred and four thousand kilometers. So kind of low, you know, on the on the mileage side. And then it's a ninety nine. So this is eligible for import. Mm. It does show a repair. Um, and. It is, of course, manual transmission. So I tried to find one that wasn't the rock bottom. There was definitely some below 30,000, but like they were like rock bottom cars, and there was some for 50,000. Right. This, this is $30,000 even um, with, you know, 100,000 kilometers. So I feel like maybe it's decent. I don't know. These cars are a weird thing. Oh, yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, I mean, it's nice, you know, yeah. but, like, 30K is yeah. just hard for the these cars unless you love those cars, right. you know? I feel like they've started... They're, like, the last ones to start creeping up in price, I feel like. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess the Evo 7 is really the well, last one. <laughs> Damn. Well, you know... Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> All right, well, going on the trend of the cheapest ones for me... Um, I got the cheapest R34 right here. Oh, wow. It's, oh, yeah. It's a I GTX sedan. That's what you sedan. were looking for, for sure. Oh, yeah, dude. It's got some mesh wheels on it. It's got Recaro seats. Yeah. Uh, it is in a auto. So you just went private shopping on yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of, <laughs> hey, it. hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're asking 9000 bucks for it. Oh, this, my gosh. Th- this was the cheapest R34. No repair history or anything like that. 120,000 kilometers. It's a... Uh, a February of 99, so that's not too far off. Yeah, I or mean, no, that that's is, legal. That is yeah. legal, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Which, is like, February, it's been legal since February. Yeah. I mean, for 9K, that's, like, killer, you know, get it, run it around, save up your money, get yourself some sort of swap. Yeah, it's definitely a good base, Yeah, for sure. Uh, what was the stock number on that? Stock number on that one is 0803. Okay. That's the Nissan Skyline 25 GTX. So my second Honda, my second Honda is a Honda NSX, and then they call it a base grade, obviously base Hmm. model. I just hadn't really seen them put that in like the title before over there at Diesel. (laughs) With the Z. (laughs) With the Z. (laughs) Uh, And so this thing is nice looking for sure. It's pretty clean. You know, it doesn't really look modified. Yeah. It has no repair history. With only 87,000 kilometers, and uh, it does have the automatic transmission. But Hmm. I was going for the low of the low. This is pretty much the lowest NSX on GoNet. Yeah. 
Have you looked at the price yet? Have not. Go ahead. Tell me what you think it is. Uh, sixty-five. Oh well, fifty-three. Oh. So they're asking fifty-three with a stock number of zero three zero three, and you know these again. All of these cars are becoming slim pickings, and yeah. you know an automatic uh, ninety-two, you know early series is still pulling fifty-three. Hmm. It's pretty wild. Yeah, um, it is pretty wild. But yeah, that that's a base grade NSX with a, a automatic transmission, still fifty thousand. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right, up next I got <clears throat> it is a two thousand two, so it's still a few years out. Uh, Subaru Impreza WRX STI. Oh wow, you got an STI. It's an STI, white with the gold oh, wheels. Oh heck yeah, yeah dude! Classic, that's, right? Oh, dude, yes. Uh, they're yes. asking ten thousand. Dude, that's a it's buy. It's really not that bad. Uh, the stock number on this one is 0171. And, yeah, it's got 152,000 kilometers. It's a manual. Yeah, dude, like, it's, I mean, it's a ripper. I, yeah, don't, I don't know is. too much about these, but that is the first year of the uh, what STI. Year? Is it 02? Yeah. Yeah, that is the first year, yeah. So, pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that'll go up in price soon enough. Yeah, that was the first year uh, that we got the WRX here. Yeah. And there was no STI version in the US of those. So right, that's right. like sweet. I mean, that's like, if you're into the bug eyes, that's where it's at. Yeah, for sure. Um, So I'm going to hit it. I'm going to hit you with a third Honda. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. we couldn't go on without the S2000. You know, oh, yeah, those to, are, yeah. you know, they're coming up They're They're here. You know, you've seen them. You've seen them here. I've seen a few. Um, basically, this thing has one hundred and thirty three thousand kilometers. It's silver. It says it has a repair and it's a manual transmission. Hmm. It is a 2001. So it's not the first year, but it's still AP one. Yeah. yeah. And, and it's like a nice, clean car. It looks all stock. I don't know. I mean, what was the 133,000 kilometers? I mean, still under 100,000 miles. Right, right. Dude, you can't really find these like this here. You can't. 14,000 bucks. That's, I mean, yeah. That, that's what you're paying for one here that's 200,000 miles. Run down. Yeah. Meat. With holes in the... Yeah. 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 Americanized. I mean, for sure. So <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, some of these cars, you know, even whatever, you tack on three to four grand to that. Let's just say it's 18,000 you know, landed. Yeah. Dude, you're still not getting one this clean for 18 K here. I don't think true. Like, I don't remember what dude was selling that yellow one for like 30,000. Yeah. It's like crazy. crazy. And it's not there anymore. (sighs) Even if he dropped down, you know, yeah. So, uh, S two thousand zero five six zero is the first four of the stock number. Nice. Cool. I got a 1999 Subaru Impreza. Another Subaru, by the way, uh, WRX, Type RA, STI, version V, limited. Okay, dude. <laughs> Throw out everything, like, dude. Dude, I oh, mean. it's the GC. It's got all the letters and Yeah, those extra. are sweet. Like, So it, this is the one with the roof scoop. Yeah. And I don't know if this is just a really good buy or if this is just where the market is on this, but they're only asking 15000 for Holy it. Holy moly. I thought they were. With the roof scoop? With the, ro- the Type RA? Yeah. I mean, I thought they were a little higher up. But Me too. This one's not too bad. Uh, stock number starts with uh, 0707. Um, no mileage, though. No mm. mileage on that one. That could be one of the discrepancies on why it's a little bit cheaper, but looks like a pretty cool ripper, man, if you're looking for a GC8. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. 15000 bucks. so... Looking at around, yeah, what, those 20? are cool. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't love love them, yeah. but like they're cool. Like it's a part of their history. Like right. I remember seeing videos of those coming sideways over the hills yeah, and the yeah, rally yeah. and stuff. And for a ninety nine, it's kind of, I don't know, it was like the last one to update. I feel like, yeah, it's kind of older looking, right, right, right. Yeah. until the bug eye came around. Yeah. I guess. Um. So okay. So I'm back to Mitsubishi, dude. A, listen, like A through <laughs> M is like, pff, it's tough, dude. But yeah. So here's one that I found interesting, and this wasn't the only one. There was multiples, hmm. and so this is we never set any other parameters of what I needed to find beyond it being on this website. Yeah. I have a Mitsubishi <laughs> Eclipse Spider. 
What? Yes, and it is left hand drive. Spider, yeah, because yeah. those are all US only. Things, yeah, yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. that's a USDM like thing, right? So this thing is a ninety eight with seventy eight thousand kilometers. Wow. It does have a repair. The only like wah wah is the automatic transmission. Yeah. It is the convertible. And the first four of the stock number is 1010. But if you bring this thing back over, don't. It's clean. It's nice <laughs> and clean. Let but them like, have it. let them have it, right? Dude, let them have They're it. They're asking 15 for this thing. Wow. I know it's kind of a lot, but it is very clean and it has super low miles. Yeah. So, like, I don't know who brought this over there, but it's pretty wild. I mean, the couple times we've been over there, I've seen, I think I've seen one. Yeah. I've seen one at Daikoku. That was it. Yeah, I so, mean, because they had to import them over. Right, that's pretty pretty funny. Yeah, it really is. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, yeah, it, this was like a novelty one. Please don't buy it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, next up on my list is also another American car, a Nissan Altima. Wow. No, nice. <laughs> no I'm just <laughs> kidding, just kidding. Wow. I'm not going to do that. But there was, I did come across an 03 Altima. It was just, I have no idea why it's on Gonet, like how it got there, but someone brought the big ultimate energy all the way to Japan, oh, wow. and yeah, big ultimate energy. Oh yeah, it's a whole thing. If you know, you know. Yeah, <laughs> but no. Nah, next up for me, I got a Nissan Skyline GTR Autec version, 40th anniversary. Oh dang, and that's, that's actually <laughs> that's actually from the homie Trevor over yeah. at Kazo, right? So. uh He's had this car for a little bit, dude. I've been like drooling over this thing. And yeah, some change, like maybe more. Like, I mean, love you, Trevor. Love you, Trevor, dude. If I ever win the lottery, I'm I know right where I'm going because yeah. I've had my eyes on this thing for a while, dude. It's got the LM GT fours, the GT five hundred yeah. edition, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like those. Those have grown on me quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. This one's it's silver. It's got forty three thousand kilometers. Dude, that's ultra low. Yeah, and like for an Autec version, that's that's a decent buy. Like, I'm surprised this thing hasn't yeah. hasn't moved. I guess not everyone loves four doors as much as I do, but yeah, yeah. I mean, no, that thing is sweet. <laughs> yeah, the stock number on that one is nine seven zero zero. Or yeah. just hit up Trevor. Or just that. hit up Trevor yeah. over Kazo. So sixty five thousand bucks, dude, and you can be ripping. Four doors, four door yeah, yeah. GTR. It's sick. Yeah, and I think that's few. is that the series three front lip. Yeah, that's the same. Yeah. What year is it? It's a ninety eight. So I guess that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, those are really nice. Shout out to Trevor. Super cool. Um. All right. So another Mitsubishi. But this one, my friend, is the Mitsubishi Fuso Canter. <laughs> with the yes. yeah, with the flatbed on the back. This one is not really realistic. It's a 2022. I couldn't really find... 2022? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to be waiting like a long time for this. But yeah. I mean, it was more like I couldn't find a ton of them, but I really wanted to find one. I did too, actually. And I I just don't yeah. know what to look for. Yeah, I know how to like narrow that down. And, and that is like part of the process on this website is learning how to narrow it down so yeah. this thing is a 2022 it's white of course no repair history Twenty five thousand kilometers it has the awesome bed on it like i, I love the bed on these things you know just the lay flat yeah flat. exactly it lays exactly flat and it's got the ramps built in yeah. and like you see the boys ripping through town with it's their so cool. whatever drift cars or show cars on those things and it's so cool um, so being a 2022, it is 40 K, yeah. but, but like, I mean, dude, to be honest with you, what's a wild, you could not get a f rollback flatbed tow truck in America with only what this has like 23,000, 25,000 kilometers. So like 13,000 miles on it Yeah, for 40 grand. You yeah. could not. Yeah. I've looked, you can't. Yeah. That'd so, be like a much heavier yeah truck too i feel oh, like for sure. in america yeah so i mean this one's not realistic but i mean they do got the canters over there you just got to put in the work yeah go ahead pretty cool all right well like i said i was looking for stuff like that but i just didn't know what to look for but i do know how to look for toyota hi-ace vans 
No, oh, nice. So if you've been to Japan, you know, like they're sick. Yeah, you might be looking at me sideways about this thing, but dude, that thing is sick. Oh yeah, dude, that thing goes hard as hell. Like it's got work equipo fives on it. It's you know painted this crazy blue fender flares, dude. Fender flares, like I mean, it's sick. Uh, this one is a 2002. They're asking fifteen thousand. Dude, that's sick. Fifteen thousand bucks and. uh First for the stock number is 0551. Yeah, and then this one is a diesel version as well. Oh, so you know it's going to run forever. Yeah, it's got 140,000 kilometers. Like, do that You'd thing. You see will that last. ripping down the one gun. Like, Dude, easy. yeah. At every parking area, you'll see gaggles of these things. Just <laughs> yes. Family camping out, all that. Like, yeah, it's wild. Dude, yeah. I I didn't get the van thing until until we went to Japan, and I was like, okay. Yeah, and, I, I and then it. he wanted one. These and he are was, cool. That's all he's talking about. And was <laughs> like, um, so, yeah, dude, A through M is hard. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Unos? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much a Mazda. Yeah, yeah, I that's know. That's their yeah. fancy version or yeah. whatever they tried to do. Yeah, so this is a Unos Roadster S Special, and it's 0510 on the stock number. It is black. It's a 94 with 129,000 kilometers on it. Decent. Uh, it, and it is the manual transmission. And this is basically a, a Mazda Miata. Yeah. It's just like, like you said, a little bit more fancy, cool little badge on it. Um, they're asking 10 grand. I mean, I don't know what the market is on these things, but 10 grand for a 94, yeah. it's clean. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, dude, Miatas in America, like, if you're looking for an NA or NB Miata, like, good luck. Those things are all just gone, clapped, dude, yeah. like, nothing good. So, like, they just came out of Fat Five Land or something. <laughs> 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 yes, exactly. Uh, uh, but yeah, that seems like a decent deal for a little clean Miata. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Uh, I have a 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec S. Ooh. Um, and this one has actually been turbo swapped. So wow. that's pretty cool. It is a little rough around the edges. It is a little beat. Mm -hmm. However, this is an S15 with an SR20 DET for $14,000. Yeah. 171,000 kilometers. Has been repaired, but dude, I mean, what, what S chassis hasn't? Yeah, I mean, know? even a lot of these that aren't are repaired in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, and I mean, if you're just trying to get into an S15, like, this is this is probably the move. I mean, a little rough around the edges, but nothing a little elbow grease can't help. Right, yeah, some people are attracted to that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, stock number on this was 9570. Wow. Yeah. It's I, a ripper. I got a homie that likes crazy chicks and stuff. It's kind of like the same thing, <laughs> right? Like some dudes like beat cars, like some dudes like crazy yes, chicks. Yes, yeah, exactly, yeah. you know. So speaking of repair history, I got a Honda here that says no repair history, and it is a 1987 Civic. And this thing is, hmm. this thing is freaking sick, dude. Oh, wow. Yeah, this thing is so clean. Like, like, so clean. Is that considered an EF, or is that, like, an ED? Uh, 87, 89. So, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not that. sure either. It's right before, like, the the EFs that we got and stuff, right? Yeah. It's, like, that one that the guy had uh, at Import Alliance. Uh -huh, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about? Yeah. yeah. But, dude, this thing is clean. It's white. It's got white wheels. Like, it is, like, mint. It's got, like, the ground effects kit on it. it it's just, like... So nice, and I can imagine it has more that I can't see here because at 158,000 kilometers, they are asking $33,000. Whoa. Yeah, so Whoa. I would assume this thing has is super clean or something because yeah. nobody asked thirty three grand for an 87 without having, I mean, maybe somebody dreaming does, but. That's, yeah. It is a nice car, but I don't know if it's that type of nice. That's pretty wild. Yeah, absolutely. That so cool. that's. Nine seven three one thirty three thousand for the eighty seven Civic. Nice. <clears throat> is this your last one? Uh, I think I got two more. Okay, I'll do my yeah. Go I ahead. Could, all right, cool. I got a a Toyota Mark II Tour V. This is a nineteen ninety six, and 
This is on the JZX100 chassis, so it's just like the Chaser and the Cresta. Just has a little bit different look to it. Um, oh, wow. This one's pretty classed up. It's got the two-tone. It's got some work wheels. Looks really cool to me. Uh, they're asking 25000 for it. Huh. Stock number is 0602, and this one's going to have a 1JZ turbo. Uh, manual transmission. A lot of these are automatics. Hmm. So to see a manual is kind of a, a scoop. rare thing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 137,000 kilometers, but, I mean, it's been gone through. I mean, it it's a ripper, yeah, dude. It's a, like, yeah, somebody's pride and joy. The price of those have gone up, like, drastically, it seems like, and they're not slowing down. They're getting just as out of control as, you know, the GTTs and whatnot yeah. nowadays. Wow, yeah, those turbo cars will get you. Oh, yeah, they will. Um, okay, so this one's my last one, and then you do one more. All right. Uh, so this is actually a Kawasaki. Whoa, Hey, dude. A through M, brother, A through M. <laughs> I started to get started desperate. Get desperate, did yeah. you? I got a, a Kawasaki SX jet ski. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the homie at Northeast Auto Imports. I'm out here scooping your stuff. Seriously, dude. So look this out. thing is uh, stock number 0904. It is a 1999, and it runs and goes 660 cc's, and they're asking 3,600 bucks. Decent. It's a stand-up jet ski. You know, it's one of those things, right? Like, yeah. there's a market for that stuff. It even comes with the trailer. Not that you wouldn't take the trailer though, but yeah, I mean, it's in it's under Japan Other, so mm. it's not like under Kawasaki. It's right, under Japan Other. That's yeah, cool. and uh, yeah, I mean, again, like thirty six hundred dollars stand up jet ski that's probably in better shape than most things you own. You that's know, it's sick. like mint. Go ahead. Cool. Last one for me. I know I'm heavy on the Nissans, yeah, but uh, it's hard not to be. Hard not to be. I have a ninety one. Sylvia Q's. This one has also been SR20 DET swapped. Uh, it's running what looks to be like an R32 GTR grill or a Nismo grill for those. Yeah. Um, yeah, clean car. Uh, it's only got 136,000 kilometers. It's two tone, which is pretty well sought after in those in, in the S13. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty decent little car. 17,000 bucks. Stock number is 0561. Man, I really hope this stock number thing helps you guys out. Otherwise, yeah. we're just saying <laughs> numbers the whole time. Um, if not, I mean, you guys can always match up the pictures on the Yeah, on the yeah, watch, video. watch the YouTube video. We match up the pictures, and the whole stock number will be on the picture. So uh, yeah, absolutely. you can grab that. Um, so that about wraps it up for our GoNet episode. Like, let us know. GoNet Marketplace. Yeah, GoNet Marketplace. <laughs> Like shoot us, shoot us a message. Like let us know, hey, this was dope, or we don't really need the GoNet stuff. We want this stuff in America. Whatever it is, give us a little bit of feedback so we know where to go from here with it. But otherwise, we definitely appreciate you listening. Hit us up at rhdguis on all the socials, and of course, if you want to get the merch, rhdguis.com. But for episode one hundred and one, the GoNet episode. I'm Bobby. This is Aaron. See ya. Peace.